Hi, my name is Joe Filsick. Welcome to this beginner series. Vinod gave an overview of content understanding in the previous video, and now we're going to focus on building a RAG application on top of video data. Video is difficult to process, whether it's sports or news content, or even just uh, tutorials and how-to videos or meeting recordings, it's hard to get the right information out of a video. Often people want to enable a deep link into a video to the right spot in a video to answer a question. Imagine I've just bought this hover lift, elevated lift, and I'm trying to figure out how to raise the basket. It would be so much easier if I could just ask a question right here in the product website. How do I lift that basket? And it gives me a detailed answer in text and a deep link right to a video that, that shows me how to do it. That's what we're going to work on enabling right here on your videos. But this isn't just for product videos. You can imagine using it for the same techniques for analyzing advertising or identifying social media posts related to your product or even sports highlights, extracting sports highlights from a long sports game. So to, to show how to do this, we're going to jump into Azure AI Foundry to configure a video pipeline. We're going to test it against our videos and then scale it to a set of videos using code. All right, here's where we're going to start. I go to Azure AI Foundry, click on Content Understanding, and create a new Content Understanding project. The project lands me right here. I'm able to upload a video to get started. And I get a set of recommended templates as starting points. You can see here I have an advertising template that lets ask about what brands are represented in the video, what age, ages it might be appropriate for, and media asset management looks for a description of the video. Since I'm doing RAG, I want the detailed description of the video, so I'm going to start from the Media Asset Management template. Content Understanding is going to extract a transcription of the video and these specific fields. I'm going to remove the fields I don't need here, like the background and the video categories, and then I'll add some fields that I think would be useful, like step-by-step -step instructions, and I'm going to classify what products are, mentioned, are talked about in the video using this classify field. I can define the set of classes that I need for this video. I can include up to 300 classes here. I'm going to add lift, and I'll just jump to a full list here, uh, including HVAC equipment, et cetera. And with that, I'm going to hit Save and finalize this schema as the one that I'm going to use and start testing. By hitting Run Analysis here, I'm able to test against my particular video. And here I have the results. You can see on this bottom pane, I have the video broken down shot by shot into semantically relevant segments. I also have a transcript of the video. And over here on the right, I have my fields. So it's able to classify the video appropriately with the lift and then give me a description and a step-by-step -step breakdown of the video. OK, I can jump into the video uh, and see here that at 13, a minute 13 into the video, I have uh, a demonstration of how to lock, ensure the basket lock is engaged and uh, getting it to the correct height. And yeah, that's what's happening here. So this gives me that exact grounding data I need for the RAG system to be able to jump right to the right spot in the video. So to use this analyzer in my code, I'm going to name the analyzer and build it and take that name over to my code. All right, so here I'm in the GitHub Python notebook sample for video search. I'm going to jump in here and adjust the, the name of the analyzer I'm using to be RAG video, and then run this to extract video segmentation 
from a set of videos. Once I've processed that collection of videos, I'm going to I'm going to take the metadata and pre-process it for video for the Azure AI search agent to use and then embed those uh, chunks and add them to a AI search index. And now, now that I have that index ready, I'm ready to test my RAG agent. All right, so my support chat's up and running, and I can ask it, how do I adjust the bolts? And it's able to come back with an, a specific text answer, as well as a deep link to the right video for that topic. And that's it. Now I have my system up and running. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate your time. You can see here there's a link to the Azure AI Foundry for you to try this out yourself, as well as the content understanding video search sample for you to use that GitHub code that I showed. Try it out in your own videos and let, me, let us know how it goes. Thanks so much for watching.